What's going on, folks? Simulation for the Nation here. Welcome to a mod review. Sit back, relax, and enjoy what will be the most in-depth, detailed mod that we've ever had come to FS22, in my opinion. We're about to dive into AMG's 5400 series. Let's go. Now, it's not often, folks, that I get sent uh, some mods of uh, to review for this channel that are of such high detail there. It comes with a uh, what is i think two pages of a4 details instructions of all of the changes all of the additions and the uh, the bonus features and add-ons that this mod has but but amg modern has done exactly that and today we're going to have a look into the 5400 series massey there which frankly is incredible these are the three tractors that appeared on the thumbnail and these are like the the staples in my opinion here we're going to talk about what's over there very shortly that is just incredible but we've got three incredible, incredible tractors here. There's actually a fourth that you could include into this as well. And we're going to dive on into it. But it is the 5400 series. It's coming in two different uh, body shapes and styles, really. You're going to have your traditional uh, regular shape bonnet and also your drop nose. Now, you can see just by looking at this that we have different designs. That's to do with the different tiers of the tractor as they've got uh, slightly more modern there. You look at this 5470 in the middle and then the slightly newer, more advanced slope nose on the 5475 here. Uh, we're going to have a look into those. Uh, all in all, there are four different tractors uh, in the small tractor range and two in the medium tractor range. So let's have a dive in. Now, we'll, before we get into the shop configurations, let's just have a quick look around them. You'll see this is the same mother who created the Ford Zebra Pack or on uh, consoles there, the new Holland Zebra Pack. And just look at the detail around here. They look fantastic from the outset there. Nothing has been skipped. Nothing has been overlooked there. Everything has been designed and built from scratch up. And they're looking brilliant. They really, really are. As we get inside the cab, this is where they all become fantastic, in my opinion. Much like the separate pack, everything is animated. Everything has its place. So if I, for example, let's just start by putting on my hazard lights. On come the hazard lights there. Uh, same thing for each indicator. And you can see the indicator stalk goes as well. If I am in forward at the moment, if I put it into reverse, the shifter moves with me as well and changes, which is what you want to see. Pay close attention down to the gear stick on this Massey is the T stick. Uh, so you can see right now you'd use knock that forward and backwards to go through your gears. And then uh, you would... Uh, You'd also press the, the clutch on the side to move it forward to go up a range or down a range. Right now we're in range two. You'll see we're going to come down into one. As I go up through the gears, it's one and then two. It's changing on the display exactly like it would on the Massey there as well. I absolutely love that. I really, really do. Look on the side here. There's our uh, beacon switch. Comes on and moves in when you press it. It's just fantastic to see. And that goes across the board for them all. Uh, this though this is the style that i like in this specific range here of the four part for the 5400 bam or the six part sorry this is what we want to see really do like this an awful lot so jump on in again the same the same cab inside there just sounds incredible though you'll see your clutch goes in when you're changing directions that your brake when you're stopping and your throttle as well absolutely sublime really really well detailed we put lights on there start to see the dash lights up as well which is just fantastic if i get my lights on and put my full beam on what do you know the full beam light comes on as well there very very well detailed and that goes across the board you'll see this is the slightly newer model of the six cylinder there's a slightly longer body on there as well uh slightly different style and setup of your uh front linkage to go with that as well which is just well incredible you'll note for example see this is on we're going to touch on this one in a moment this is on the premium range here see the electronic valves on the front linkage you can lower and raise it from outside the cab this one isn't the premium range it doesn't have it what's the premium range you're wondering we'll touch on that in just a little bit but yeah this is all absolutely staggering now how do you buy these things well that is a great great question when you come on into the store you head on over to you. We're going to go and look at the small tractor range. Like I said, there are four different models here to start with. Come all the way along to the end. So you have got your steep bonnet and your steep bonnet second gen. Uh, so they're the 5400 series. And then you've got your small frame gen one and the small frame gen two. Like you can see here, you have the slightly older style bonnet there. This is the slightly newer shape there as well. Now we're going to look into, let's go for the gen one, shall we? Look at all of these configurable options here there are many to give you an idea there are over 89 wheel options alone before you look at any other configurable options here 
which so with that in mind amg has gone ahead and made us some configurable options which would make it easy for you to pick up a tractor effectively makes it easier to find one you'd like one you can choose and one you can move forward with pretty quickly and then you can always take it into the shop and edit it and change it around uh, this one here the base model is fifty thousand pounds to start with now the first model this is the basic configurable package now this to my knowledge no other models or no other mods in game have this so far this is brand new for fs22 and will be a really interesting feature to have moving forward when you have a lot of configurable options just it's like having a uh a, a sale machine which is already configured already has hours on the clock there but it's configuring a tractor for you so right now we're on a basic tractor that allows you to change everything if i go to the next one up which is used tractor number one, you'll see you don't have half as many options because it's already being configured. It's already being changed up there for you. Uh, so right now, this is used tractor number one. This is a front loader spec tractor. It's got predefined options on there. A little bit of faded paint here and there and a few decal stickers that aren't quite right in the fade in the way there. So really it gives you the idea that you're purchasing a bit of an older tractor there, which I think is pretty darn cool to me. Really do like that one a lot. All you need to do is stick a loader on there and you are good and set to go. Use tractor number two. Same as the first one, really no loader spec there. We've got a front weight on. It's got a slightly higher specified uh, configuration to it, really. Uh, but yeah, much the same. We're going to click along to use tractor number three. Now, again, you'll see the specifications are going up and up and up. This one now has a front linkage and the front PTO on there, along with a few other options, such as your new lights on there as well. Lots of different configurations in there. Switching on to the next one, which is the Black Beauty. Obviously, you're going to have a bit of a, tie, uh, a custom change up here. Really striking black paintwork on this. I think this looks absolutely stunning. Do you like that? A, this offers the same specifications at the moment as the basic. So really... From here, you can go and add in anything you want. You can add your beacons. You can add more work lights on there. You can change from wide to narrow uh, fenders on there and then go and add your mud guards on the front as well. Come down, stick a, to stick a basic uh, free point on there and then toggle up all your engine configs. So, but really what you're getting is that beautiful black beauty paint spec on there. Really, really love to see that. Next up again is the silver spec. Again, much the same as above, just with the the classic. I think this was, was for the Jubilee, if I'm not mistaken there. But beautiful. Lo lovely, lovely uh, specification. Next up is the 50 series as well. Uh, another strike and tractor here. This will come with the 50 logo on the front there and on the back. This is in the white, uh, which is you don't get to see too many of those probably because it was the... the uh, the Golden Jubilee version, but yeah, a lovely little uh, tribute, really. And this is, again, like I must say, available on all of the range of tracks there, which is quite striking. One of my favorite ones coming up next, actually, the municipal spec as well. You've all seen municipal tractors working around different counties doing different things. You can now spec this one up and add on, frankly, some incredibly cool tires. Uh, if we come in to municipal, uh, we'll find some Nokians in here in a minute. They're cool, but what I really want to find is if I come to Vigstein. Stick a pair of those on, go and, go and cut some school uh, football fields or something. Look at that. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Absolutely tremendous. Okay, so now, this is a cool. Now we come to the premium, and this is the top package available here. You note the price has shot up to 86 grand. Really coming up and up. Uh, you'll see on here, this gives you all of the best customizations, gives you some of the uh, the biggest options available to you as well. Uh, and they also, um, on some configurations here, will give you the decals there as well there. But the premium is the model to go for. Really. It does look really quite striking in my opinion. But enough about those tractors installed. Let's go out and have another look at them really, shall we? And let's see just the, the absolute magnificence. We'll go into medium tractors as well. These two are just, think, just, oh, chef's kiss, absolutely special for me. Uh, so the the this is the six cylinder of the uh, about starting around 150. I think they go up to 175 horsepower. There, so plenty of power for everything you would need. And if we go for the premium tractor here, like so, we're gonna add a few bits and pieces on there. We're gonna spec this one all the way up, and we want to go for that PTO there as well. Uh, we don't want that on, but we do want that. We want some wider tires. Uh, I want to go for... What's the biggest tires they have there? No. Yeah, they don't look too bad, but I've got... I'm going Vergesteins again. I do like these. Uh, 
Another thing to add on there as well, we've also got new rims have been created there. So not only are you going to see a lot of tire choices there, the rims themselves are new and do look rather special. We've added these onto, I say we, AMG have added these onto all of the, the configs there. So you can get to see some really quite cool rim options. Which again, you know, lovely to see there. Just adds extra levels of detail that you never really considered, to be honest there. But yeah, look at those on there. Yes, please. That. That looks ready to go. In my opinion, get that on to a bit of drill work. Yes, please and thank you. Love to see it. These tractors are incredible. All these three on, well, these four now are all different in many different ways there. Obviously you've got color schemes are different, but the specifications are all different. So you can continue to keep going and going and have so many different variations, it is untrue. But not to stop there, there are also two front weights available. These two are different. Uh, they do look very similar. Obviously you can config the spec on these as well, because of course you can. Uh, we go down into our weights all the way along to the end there. You've got the 115 and 1620. Uh, if we have a look at these, they start with just 960 kilograms on there, but you can go all the way up to 1.6 tons. You can add decals on here as well. It's also changing the color. So let's change that to uh, that and that. And then so you got a nice little weight on there. Lovely detail to add on to that, though. Really nice thing to see. Work both if you need it for extra ballast on the front, but also if you need to, if you put, put a loader on that small tractor, stick one on the back there. Wouldn't go wrong either. Uh, AMG is expecting to bring this to the motto. And hopefully, as it is a Massey, there is no reason why this won't be available across the board on all platforms. Uh, stick around to see what that will look like with AMG's uh, Facebook and Discord uh, to see when we can hopefully expect to see those coming through. Right now, it is just coming out for uh, for fit, more open testing, really, at the moment. There. I'm very, very grateful for AMG sending this across to me here. I'm going to be spending a lot of time playing with this here. Stay tuned to my stream today because it's likely going to be included in there in some capacity. So I look forward to seeing you along for the ride with this one. Let me know in the comments below which tractor is your favorite. Spoiler alert, it's the one in the middle here. Uh, and we will see you for some more massive farming in the future. These things are incredible. I really hope you do share my enthusiasm and excitement for these. Hopefully we'll see them coming along very soon. Just look at that lineup there. There's nothing that I can't like here. It's absolutely splendid. Now, I'm sure there are many, many other features that I have not covered in this video. And frankly, there's so many, it's difficult to choose. There are, like I say, four of the four cylinder and two of the six cylinder engines of, uh, options available. You're going to span the whole range from 86 horsepower through to 160. So there's a tractor really here from small to medium range to fit everyone's needs. These are going to be splendid. Hopefully, we'll, we'll be seeing them coming out very, very soon indeed. If you have any more questions leave them down below if you've enjoyed this video give it a like and subscribe for more from me simulation for the nation and we'll see you in the next one catch you later